Hey y'all, it's Anime Game Man. Today I'm going to be live reacting to the 11th episode of Watashini Tenshiga Mayorita in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright. <laughs> That's a great point, actually. She kind of was acting like a mother with all that stuff. With all that stuff going on. <laughs> no, the opening. Alright. Well, I'm gonna say... I'll probably react to the opening right now. Maybe there's gonna be some stuff I didn't notice before. Alright, Noah and... Um, you're not to playing around. Pigtails. All right. Huh. All right, obviously with her making dresses. Looking back, uh, it is actually pretty fitting. Especially with um, Miyako taking all these pictures. Huh. Oh, so I'm assuming that's the play. I'm assuming that's the play. Oh, and these two. All right, all right, all right. And the mothers, huh. Honestly, looking back, when I first saw the opening, I was like, it was all right, but looking at it again, it's actually pretty fitting with the show. Hmm. Gotta say, it grew on me. All right, it's back now. <laughs> Hinata always in the clutch, in subtle ways, even for her sister. <laughs> oh, that's actually a good question. Oh. Probably we're making sweets. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> and I can't blame Miyako. Aw, that's sweet. I mean, it is going to cost money, probably. Oh, all right, I can make for a good bonding experience. All right. Oh, that's nice. We actually haven't seen Connie and Kyori interact with the main crew yet in a while. So I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> actually. Oh, that's sweet. And she could help too, making some of the costumes. Come on, Miyako, just use her. It'll probably be just a PG request. Come on, Miyako, don't be too scared. No, oh, that's not bad. Come on, Miyako, slow it off as all right. How'd she get her phone? What the fuck? How? No, seriously, when, how, and what the? <laughs> 
You know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna think too much about it. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Don't. All right, at the very least, she's hiding her intentions because we all know Miyako wants to keep it and sniff it for future reference. Let's just be realistic. <laughs> all right, Miyako, you're growing. You're saying more of the right things. Because the old Miyako would have just been straight honest with her intentions and it would have made Hana feel creeped out. So I'm assuming they're the extras. Oh, okay, then it's more than that. <laughs> I like how they all said it in unison. Adorable. Really? Oh. It's actually nice. Oh, it's actually nice. For Kyori to have more skills. <laughs> That's what she gets for being too cocky. Come on now, Yori. You got too cocky, kid! <laughs> oh, it still sucks though that she got hurt by the pin though. Oh. Picking up skills from the best. She's probably gonna suck at this. <laughs> oh man, poor Anna. She's not really good at cooking or sewing. Her house skills need a bit of work, but maybe she'll develop in the future, you know? The house skills. Some of them. Alright. I love the way she... How did you fuck that up? <laughs> her, her name is... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, those all look pretty darn good, those um, macarons. My favorite are the green ones. At least the flavor. <laughs> no! Miyako! Alright, girls. Good job. Good job. Kyari was about to fall into a trap. <laughs> She probably already didn't imagine shit in her head. It's probably what happened. <laughs> oh. I wonder what... Whoa! <laughs> ah, Damn it! Then again, it's natural though. She would be scared of being in those type of situations. What? What? So this is a problem with my internet connection. <sighs> Great. No, it's working fine. <sighs> Shit. 
Wait, what? No, yeah, it's connected. <sighs> Great. I honestly can't catch a break lately. All right, I'll try to fix this. Yeah, my connection's not working right now. Great. I always feel like I get screwed over somehow. At this point, I'm not even surprised. working again at least come on stupid Fucking internet connection, I swear. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to come back to 924. Is there enough time? Because my camera can only handle like, um. All right, yeah. I'm going to continue the live reaction from 924. Just ignore that fucking timer. You know what, fuck it. Just ignore the timer. I'm going to continue this. It's a live reaction, so I might as well. I, I won't give an extended review after this video. So, um... So I'm just going to react to this because it's a live reaction and well... Yeah. I'll just quickly sum up the episode in like maybe 30 seconds. When the episode's over. <laughs> Her face, dead man face. <laughs> uh... She is so she was probably scarier than usual. Huh. All right. <clears throat> Y'all should have faith in your daughters. <laughs> That's the spirit! And can you blame Noah's mother though? That's trying to raise the self-confidence. Oh. Oh, that's such sweetness from Hannah's mother. <laughs> oh, they're both in complete agreement. Makes it imply that <laughs> she does talk about some of the downsides of Miyako to the other prince behind her back at times. Just some small things. That's actually a great point. She has grown up actually quite a bit.
Everything will be fine. Oh, <laughs> she said what I was going to say. I was going to say everything is fine and then Hinata says it. I love that fucking energy from, from her. A few stills, but it's alright. This is an important scene. Probably saving their budget for the play, I'm assuming. Oh, festival. All right. I'm assuming the cop is gonna show up, ain't she? I don't read the manga, but I have a feeling. She does look like a creeper with that outfit. <laughs> Aww. It's Miyako. <laughs> Come on, Miyako! You should have more common sense to not put on that weird outfit. <laughs> and I love it too how they have. No, Miyako. Get rid of those stupid sunglasses. <laughs> what the? Miyako, you know what to do. If you get your card stamped, give sweets to all three of them. Reason why is because yes, you want to give Hana sweets, but you also don't want to have Hinata and Noah feel left out. Damn, she's got a good aim. Should be a baseball player with that name, aim. My goodness. Kaori's gonna fail, isn't she? And it's gonna reflect back at her. I knew it! <laughs> and I don't read the manga. I was able to predict that just based off her personality. Because usually all the bad stuff happens to Kaori. Oh! She's gonna not strike any of the pins. <laughs> I was on the money again. Oh man, Gaudi, don't pursue a career in athletics. Don't. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love more bonding. That's so cute and adorable. <laughs> Aww. Whoa. I mean, I guess it is food based, so Hana would be pretty good at that, capturing it. You know, I've never made slime before. Slime before. I wonder. Try it out someday. Maybe in the YouTube video. Maybe. I'm not gonna make promises on that. Alright. Hell yeah, Hannah's probably gonna say no. She's gonna need some persuasion. Bribe her with sweets, woman! Bribe her. You're not fooling anyone, Hannah. You're the fear. It's 
vibrating through your voice. All right, she actually went in without any, without much arguments. <laughs> Oh, it's just an adorable kid. Oh, don't spoil the surprise, Miyako. She definitely looked for an excuse to hug Hinata. Nice, Noah, nice! <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> Oh my. Well, yeah. Great point. They've actually have spent a lot of time together at this point. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Showtime! Hope they actually dedicate a good amount of screen time to the play with all the build up. Wait, what? A cliffhanger? Damn it! I want to see the play though. Oh well, I mean, I'll talk about the episode real quick because of the whole kind of situation with my, my, with my Wi-Fi. I gotta say, this episode was pretty darn good. I liked how, at the very least, we got to see Hana bond even more with Miyako. At the very least, now it's openly acknowledged that they're friends, at the very least, and there's not a bit of hesitation on that anymore. So, I gotta say, I chalk that up to some nice character development. And I like how Miyako's at least willingly doing stuff like going to cultural festivals in order to accompany the girls. That's at least a good amount of development on Miyako's front because it's even... Oh, I like how the episode even mentioned it too. If it were the old Miyako, then she wouldn't have done it. And that's actually, actually true because if we go off the first episode, Miyako in episode 1 wouldn't have even accompanied the girls to go to a festival. So I kind of like that. It was also nice to see more of the personalities of Noah's mother and Hana's mother too, with Hana's mother wanting to like scare her own daughter, to try to get rid of her fears, to try to help her grow, and it was nice to see more of Noah's mother's personality too, with how she appraises her, her um, daughter all the time. That was nice. I loved it. Oh, the play, all right. <laughs> Aww. I love it. <laughs> She's tried that. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to affect any of her performances, though. Oh. 
Oh my. I mean, she is the main attraction, so... <laughs> All right. Oh, that's sweet that she took off the sunglasses. Oh man, Miyako's growing up before our very eyes. I'm, I'm liking this. Oh, so what's the next episode? All right. Damn, it's been more positive about Miyako. Oh, sweet. So if it's Angel's Gaze, that means next week's gonna actually be dedicated towards that. All right, I'm, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. As for the episode, I'm already 8 out of 10. I thought it was really good. Cannot wait for more. Animation, aside from a few still shots here and, here and there, we're still, we're still good. And I'm going to eagerly anticipate more. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. If you subscribe.